Hello and welcome to week seven of our Boating on the Water art lift. Um, uh, you'll be very pleased to know that today I bought one of those stretchy arm things to put my phone in so I'll be able to take much better videos. So uh, yeah, <laughs> well, hopefully they'll be better. Uh, bad workman blames his tools and all of that. Okay, so today we're going to look at perspective and in particular we're going to look at one point perspective. What's that you ask? Well, it's where you have something where you have a vanishing point and um, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get uh, a better position so that uh, you can see what i'm talking about and um, but today we're going to work just with pen um well we're going to start off by looking at what's going to be a useful uh, subject for you to work from so you can source your own images and um, you can use photographs that you've taken um, you can look for photos online. Google images are good and Pinterest are good for finding images, uh, especially if you put in something like one point perspective or perspective um, and look for photography rather than painting, because then you can bring your own um, uh, your own style to it or your own adaptation to it. Um, so um, what I've done is I've gone for something uh, as simple as I can and I'm going to take you through it. We're going to sketch it out and then we're going to look at using pen. So we're going to do that this week and then next week we're going to use colour. There's just too much to do all in one go. So that's the plan. So I'm going to get out of shot and start doing stuff. So where can we get this back on here? Yeah, that should be all right. Um, so, will we just get this here? Yeah, so here's the image that I'm working from. Let's see if you can see it there. Where's it gone? Here we go. I'm just going to make it a tad bigger. There we go. And I'm going to bring it a bit closer, but I have it printed out because you can't. Oh, there you go. You can see the colours quite well there. And um, so one point perspective is where something vanishes off to a vanishing point like that. And you have one point where everything is going to. Now, we know that there are lots of things here in the background. Yeah. Um, and that that all will be part of it. Um, but the main thing, one point perspective is where you have one thing vanishing into the front. We will be covering two and three point perspective in uh, a later session. But uh, that's that. So, so that I don't have to hold that up. What I've done is I've printed it out here. Now, um, the printer as you can see there's always something with the printer isn't there when um, I have to use it uh, my husband would say it's just that I'm using too much ink but there you go so what I've done is I've taken uh, let me just see what I've done here there we go leave that up there I've taken a drawing of that. Here we go. I've taken a drawing of that. So the red lines that are on here are the lines that are in the drawing. The black lines are, you've got your horizon line, which is this. Now, horizon line can be a peculiar thing. It's not always a physical horizon, like where the sky meets the sea. It is, in essence, the point at which your focal point and your own horizon line is within a drawing. So we'll see that in, in other things. So what I have is I've got a mid midline. I've got just an intersection there going uh, down and one straight across. And then what I've done is I've just gone sliced through both of them because these are your convergence lines these are the things that lead your eye up into that midpoint so if we look back <coughs> excuse me at the drawing you've got your central line there and your convergence lines here and your horizon line there now what you'll find is that these uprights that I've also put in here 
you'll find are perpendicular to your composition line, your out exterior line here. So you'll always have them. And you'll also notice that they're receding. So as that line is going down there, they're just a little bit above that line all the way. And they are below that line in differing lengths so that you're getting that shrinking feeling. And exactly the same with these posts on this side. Now, the other reason that I liked this composition is that you have the mountain range that is coming down on that convergence line down there. And also you're getting a kind of echo of it here. Um, I mean, if it was absolutely like that, it would probably look very contrived. But as you can see, it is a natural landscape. So, um, so to kind of make sense, I've literally... Oh gosh, falling apart here. Let's just take that one off because I think we're finished with that. So what I've done here is I've laid some tissue paper. So, oh, by the way, I used parchment because, as you know, I like to use things that you'll have in your own cupboard. So that's just baking parchment. Um, and I had some tissue paper that came with something in the in the post. So, you know, it's not anything special. So what I've done then is, oh, hang on, let me just do that properly here and then I'll hang it up again. You can sing a few carols while you're waiting. There we go. That should be all right. Uh, ish. Okay. No, I'll just move it over because it doesn't make sense unless it's in the right place. Come on, you must be on Good King Wenceslas by now. Or Away in a Manger. That's one of my favourites. Okay, so let's take this a little bit closer. You can just about see the uh, image that's underneath. So this is your horizon line and it is, I've taken it slightly lower. So you see this mark here, that's the halfway point between there and there, uh, between, sorry, the top of the painting and the bottom or the top of the photograph and the bottom. So what I've done is I've, I've um, that horizon line would actually concur with the top of that horizon point there. So that is actually midpoint in the page. Um, however, what I've done is um, I've just gone slightly lower to that that point there um but wait till i do this you see if i just move that slightly up then that horizon point is is exactly bang on anyway so what i'm trying to do by showing you this is to show you you know that dissection thing if i just lift that up again it's just a straight dissection where you have straight down straight across north south east and west and then uh, dissection between that to the corner from the middle point where am I from the middle point to the corner um on each of those and then dissecting that in half again it just helps to to kind of break it up so that you can see it clearly so we've got our uh, kind of main uh, line going into there so that's kind of helping us now what you'll notice on this is that obviously uh, I go back to my father Ted sketch with the near and far away but this white line because it's near it is tapering very slightly but it is tapering from here into being slightly less uh, slightly thinner there and all the way down like that um, you're getting uh, your eye is being drawn in by the two sides of the road there yeah it's also being drawn in by the line here in the landscape and it's also been drawn in by this device here of the both the um, posts with the fencing on there and also these uh, pieces here which are the telegraph poles so there's just so much that just goes zooms in to that point and that's why I chose that okay so what we're going to do is going to take that off there and uh, I'm going to just take this off of here because what I've done is on the other side of that I 
to save time just sketched it out um so you'll see i've got oh hang on i can't see can you so you can see that you've got uh, you know that that thicker line thicker uh, white stripe in the middle of the road thinning down down into the middle um, all going into that divergence point those uh, taller pieces uh, are then receding okay we will talk about um, uh, the perspective of the dis of the distance as as I go along so what my aim is is that you'll be able to see what I'm doing <laughs> That's always a good aim, isn't it? Shall we do that there? Um, right. So what I'll do, maybe if I do it on there, that'll work. Okay. So um, just before um, I do that, what I, maybe I'll show you on this. What I wanted to show you on here is we've been doing a lot of work on light and dark, okay? Now, uh, where the light comes from is incredibly important uh all the time now because this is a cloudy day we don't have the kind of strong light that we had when we were doing our still lives okay so um what we'll have to do is is look harder because the light is there and where the light is coming from is through this gap here and the reason that we know that is if you are very keenly looking i'll just try and bring it close yes okay you can see it now see that oh god hang on <laughs> tell you i'm not going to win a bafta for my camera skills okay so this oh for goodness sake here we go okay so there is there are sorry these lamp posts now there is this lamp post in particular and in that lamp post you can see in the puddle a little little shadow Let's see if we can see it on there. Maybe better. I'll try and show you that. <sighs> yes, you can see it better on here. That's good. So here's the lamppost I'm talking about and here's the shadow. And we know that that is telling us that the light is coming there. We also can see a shadow in this puddle here. And again, it's, it's telling us that that's where the light is coming from. So <clears throat> you're always looking for a giveaway to find that out. So what I'm going to do when I'm drawing this is I'm going to be looking at the darker area being this side of the lamppost. Um, and you can see on here probably just about that this side of the lamppost. I'm talking about the lamppost itself. Hang on, I'll use a pencil. That would be better. So this side of the lamppost is lighter than that side of the lamppost. I can see a little bit of light and colour on there. So that's what you're aiming for. Okie dokie. So on with the pen and the ink. Um, so when you're using your pen and ink, let's see if I can come here. Um, just bring that here so that I can see it. I know you can't, which is a bit of a shame, but I kind of can't do it all. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm looking at really where the kind of darker kind of things are. So I'm looking at, you know, having darker lines on certain areas. Uh, I'm looking, I mean, this is the kind of thing. I often would use a, a, a fairly kind of broken line on things because you can always come back and add into it after you've used your 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 colour on there. I'm not going to use any of the pen on these lines on the road because I'm going to use the colour with the paint to do that. So really what I'm trying to do is to kind of pick out areas that are really uh, definitive. So although there is a different colour on there, I'm just going to use a broken line just to indicate what's happening there. And I'm also going to use a broken line kind of coming down. And there are some little kind of hillocks and bits on there that I would maybe come come back to. There's some much stronger bits like that. Um, and then we have some kind of rocky, more rocky things kind of going down here. I would 
just kind of play with um, uh, also the other thing that you can do is um, really to use that squinting method that I told you before I'm just checking checking behind so that I can see what's happening there um, again you know just I like to use quite a loose and kind of shaky uh, uh, feeling on here simply because you know you you've got quite a you don't always have straight lines you've got bits of broken lines and I've got this kind of thing going and it'll kind of disappear so the kind of there are one or two bits that are that bit nearer that maybe are full um so that that's it really um uh what i will do is i will continue on with this um and i will add more pen to it um uh just so that i'm in a better position um and i will send that to you with your um uh, with your video so uh, that's it for now um, and I will um, give you the second part of this uh, for next week okay short and sweet but there's a lot and there's also a lot of other stuff that I'm sending you so um, it'll be a lot to digest so stay safe stay happy stay creative bye bye